tallies more than 100 miles per week on the track and on the road. It's a grueling regimen. The pain is, is basically just a, a piercing, burning sensation throughout my, my shoulders and my neck. Um, it's, it's that point where I'm pushing and my neck's starting to cramp up, my shoulders are starting to cramp up. I'm no longer the least bit comfortable in my chair and I still have, you know, 10 miles of a race to go. Long hours of training have allowed Josh to develop phenomenal upper body strength. The keys to being a good wheelchair racer is all in um, strength to weight ratio. At a mere 98 pounds, George's chiseled arms and broad shoulders enable him to generate an exceptional amount of speed and power. For Josh, the pain is a small price to pay for the satisfaction of victory. I hate losing. I'm going to do everything within my power to win. In 2003, at only 19 years old, Josh won his first Chicago Marathon and then captured two Paralympic medals in Athens in 2004. His dominance continued, winning two more Chicago Marathons and the 2006 World Championships in the 100, 200, 400, and 800 meter races. But this summer in Beijing at the Paralympics, Josh captured his sport's ultimate prize, a gold medal in the 100 meters. Racing as a bird's nest has definitely, definitely made, uh, made up for, for all those the long hours and the painful nights and the bleeding and the sore muscles and, and everything that happened. You, you roll in there and it answers the question, why, why am I racing? Right there, that's the payoff. Yet Josh is only scratching the surface of what he hopes to accomplish. I've just started. I've just gotten a taste of what I can do and I'm, I'm hungry to, to see what else I can get. In my ideal world, I'd want to be defined as an athlete. You know, plain and simple, an athlete. I actually hate the word disabled. I mean, if you break it down, it means you're not able to do things. In no way does he have a disability. He's the most able-bodied person I know. Life doesn't end when something goes wrong. And that's what I hope people take. To explore what you can do instead of focusing on what you can't do. Josh is an example for us all, proving that what sets him apart is his extraordinary athletic ability and his champion spirit. If doctors came to me right now and said, we can make you walk, I wouldn't do it. I would establish myself as a wheelchair racer. I'm comfortable with the life I'm living right now, and I wouldn't want to change it.